So after discussing what exactly a compiler is and why we need a compiler in our software world, now let us try to discuss what are the things that we should always keep in mind while designing a compiler. Okay, so let me write it. Take into account in compiler design or I can say while designing a compiler what you should do so basically a compiler is nothing but a software program okay so so the first constraint it, it should satisfy is the correctness as a software program, if my program gives me erroneous result, then that software is of no use. Okay, so it is always necessary that the language it is generating, the machine code it is generating, the compiler is should, uh, so when executed, should give me the correct output. Okay, second thing, uh, if I am writing in, uh, I am not following the construct or syntax of the given high level language, while writing a program the compiler should tell me so so in the correctness we have correct output when execute on execution and second is it should report errors correctly if the programmer is not following the language syntax okay so if the given high level language uh, high level program is not written as per the rules of the language then the compiler when analyzing the high level program should give me should report a error okay so that that uh, so these things belongs to the correctness okay a compiler should be correct enough second is efficiency when we talk about efficiency of a compiler what does this mean this means two things one is how efficiently that means how fast the compiler is generating the code and that we call as compile time and second thing is how efficient the generated code is that means when this generated code will be executed by a computer how fast it will generate the correct output so that is that comes as the runtime okay so so we can always include or insert many levels of optimization into a compiler to generate more and more efficient code okay but that means that we are making a trade off or we are sacrificing the compile time the compiled uh, will be studying uh, just in few minutes the various stages of a compiler and there you can see that if you will keep adding various kinds of complex optimizations you will definitely it will definitely result in an efficient code but that will reduce the compile time okay that will increase the compile time sorry okay and the third thing for any software is the debugability or usability that means as an end user every so we the programmer are the end user for using a compiler so so the compiler should guide us or guide the programmer how to write or how to oh, write correct programs or correct high level language okay so if we are making any mistake the compiler should generate proper error messages okay for example if i say that int a equal to int a equal to 5 instead of int a equal to 5 in c then 
the compiler should report an error that undefined variable INTT okay because INTT is not a keyword okay and uh, it's it will treat it as a variable the compiler will treat it as a variable and hence INTT is but INTT we have not yet declared and hence it will it should give me an error with proper line number and file name okay this is only I can debug suppose I am uh, I have I have a program with many files okay I'm dealing with many files then the compiler should also point out that, okay at this file at this line number there is a mistake and the error type the mistake is this one that is the variable is undefined okay now with this much discussion on what things we should take into account while designing a compiler now let us try to see what are the various stages of a compiler okay So let me write it down. Various stages of a compiler. Okay. So, so what software developers have done in the recent means for the last few decades while developing a compiler, they have divided it into several stages, what we call as stages of a compiler. Okay. Now each and all these stages are operated. So let me write it down. So the entire software is structured into various stages and each stage and all these stages are operated in sequence what does this mean this means that the output of one stage is fed as an input to the other stage okay and we can always create and in the entire course of this compiler design we will deal with various stages how to design each of these stages and how to modularize it okay to write a better software okay now let us try to discuss what are the stages so so just let me write it down so the first stage is what we call as lexical analysis okay what does this mean so the given high level program is written in a file okay and and this stage or or this stage is also called as the scanner it reads the inputs of the file as a text string and tries to divide them tries to divide the entire text into what we call as tokens okay now the rules for creating these tokens are predefined for a given high level language okay suppose I say that int a equal to 5 for a C language now every token has a token type so let me put it down in this way I have so these are the tokens and token kind okay so for this simple statement int a equal to 5 int will be a token okay and what is its kind it is called keyword because int is a keyword in C a is a token and what is its token kind it is an identifier or variable okay then I have equal to and this is an operator called assignment operator okay or assignment operator okay then I have 5 this 5 means it is a decimal number okay and then again the semicolon and this semicolon is nothing but the token kind will be delimiter so what does this delimiter means delimiter means it, it can be semicolon it can be new line it can be space okay it can be simply colon okay so all these are delimiters so 
so for this so all these are defined in the c language okay this this can be the tokens for a c language and hence int a equal to 5 has all these tokens so the the job of this lexical analyzer or the scanner is to read the entire program as a text string and bucketize it or categorize each as a valid tokens so if it finds a invalid token then it will report an error okay 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 thanks